What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recaps of some of the most recent wars for 2.0. Uh, we had an arranged matchup I want to show you, uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. First, I did have a, a very not difficult war uh, that I did want to go over because there were some really nice uh, TH10 triples in there I didn't want to miss out on. So let's just hop right over. There's a lot of lot of replays I want to show here. So um, yeah, you know what, like I said, 117.51, these guys didn't give their very best effort, didn't even use half of their attacks. Um, I believe the CCs were mostly just archers or hounds, pretty predictable. But as you can see, the guys up top really we are two stars off. Uh, it's two stars off, three stars, sorry, from a perfect war. Uh, so nice job all, overall, guys. Forty man war, obviously one of those uh, easier farm wars, but no big deal. Is what it is. Uh, gonna jump right in here and start watching some of these replays because there's some really nice TH10 triples. Obviously now, you know, they're all Valk attacks. Justin had a couple in there on the very low Town Hall 10s. Bert had one on the low Town Hall 10s as well. So uh, no offense to you guys, uh, but I do have a ton of replays I want to show. So I'm just going to show these higher ones here. We are going to start off with, what was I going to show? Not those. Number six, Pauly J going in. One of their higher, um, oh no, sorry, this is a Town Hall 11. Obviously a very rushed Town Hall 11. Town Hall 10 Expos. Uh, up, you know, level three infernos. I think, yeah, pretty much everything else. Town Hall nine, whatever. So Paul is going to go ahead with this little bit of a queen charge. Recognize that he can charge into this whole bottom section without worry of inferno towers. Really, without worry of too much point defense. Once he steps up here, he does have a few point defense on either side. He's got to worry about. But the goal here is to take care of all this stuff and get that eagle cannon down. Once that eagle cannon goes down, there's basically one gigantic compartment that he's got a bunch of Valkyries. Uh, and a couple more healers he's going to drop and just get everything pushed through this core. So, oh, sorry, kitty. Uh, screen charge is going perfectly, right? Still so far, only one cannon is targeting her. Uh, that cannon is now dead. Then come lock on the arch towers. So we're going to start taking a little bit of damage here, but no big deal. Four raid spells. Yes, four raid spells in the bag. CC troops coming out. Going to see what I mean? All archers in the CC troops. So poison is going to take care of that. Raid spell goes down anyway. Just wants to continue to rip through all this stuff. Start working on these uh, defenses still. Really, like I said, the goal here after the CC troops are dead, just get that eagle cannon down. And that's going to be the key moment to send in the rest of these Valkyries. <clears throat> so taking care of that little Grand Warden statue. Down it goes. Now, one thing I've noticed with the eagle. Watch, watch this. I don't think the... Uh, nope. It starts working on a wall. You're telling me, standing from this little tip right here, you can't reach that Eagle Cannon? What a joke. I know the Eagle Cannon, I think, is a 4x4 four four structure, but only... It's like a 4x4 four four pad, but a 3x3 three three structure, or maybe even a 2x2 two two structure. So when you think that you can reach it from behind a wall, more often than not, you can't. But anyhow, so everything's good, right? Um, Eagle Cannon does go down as she works through that wall. Valkyries are in. Funnel's already created for him, pushing everything into this gigantic apartment. Couple raid spells go down. It's going to start ripping everything through there. King's ability has been hit. These healers now join in on the kill squad. Inferno Towers are down. Healers are just going to heal everything right back up. This base does not stand a chance from this point. We did miss a cannon, an archer tower, and two gold mines. This, these archers down on this uh, on this tower are watching the rest of this base just get absolutely demolished and like, oh god, <laughs> we are in trouble here. So let's fast forward this a little bit. And here come the Valks. Is <laughs> the archers are like, no, <laughs> and down they go. Tree in the bag for Polly J. Nice job, buddy. Sexy tree. 10 versus 11. Well, sort of 11. Um, next, going one up. The lovely one and only QC, Queen Cordelia. Going in again, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11. Um, you know, this one had more Town Hall 10 defenses in there. You know, cannons are done. Uh, what else we got done in there? Air defense done. Uh, obviously Inferno's Eagle Tower there, level five Grand Warden. So nothing, nothing to scoff at here by any means, right? Very typical uh, Town Hall 10 style box base. We see this a lot. Um, so there's a lot of ways to hit this. Uh, it's a little trickier when you got an Eagle Cannon in play, though. You got to be a little, a little more creative on what you do. So <sighs> QC is just gonna go ahead. Rip through this stuff, lures out that CC. Here come all those archers, just like I was talking about. Probably didn't even get all those archers, but doesn't really matter. Poison's gonna go down, rip them all apart in seconds. Down they go. Queen is gonna continue her way along here. This wall has now been opened up, so the queen can just continue her way along. Take out that cannon. Gonna step up here. As soon as that goes down, we're gonna drop a jump spell, let everything in and through. 
20 Valkyries are going to be dropped in behind. <clears throat> I believe with a CC full of Valkyries as well. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, only the one Valkyrie goes in. I know any second. There they go. So here comes the CC Valkyries. Two finger drop and the rest of them. Down they go. Everything's going to start working right in. They wanna, She wants to lock them immediately onto that Eagle Cannon. Fortunately, a lot of them go for a bit of a hype, but a few of them do jump in there. So they kind of all do a bit of a split here. No big deal. Queen's in there doing work, standing under that Rage. Valkyries going all over the place. Very, very, very delayed King there. <clears throat> so these Valks are, it's kind of, was the split was kind of perfect. Does the heal spell up there, keeps them going around the ring. They do lock on to that defensive queen, so they rip through that wall, lock onto the queen. King's in there now doing work as well. He's just going to continue his way through. Jump spell goes down, letting everything through. Boom, ba boom, boom. Inferno Towers are dead. Still has a bunch of Valkyries going. King's in there doing work, going to hit that ability any second now. Bam, there goes the king ability. Valkyrie's still doing work. Queen's in there as well, helping take care of those trash buildings. Just really has to work through a few cannons, arch tower, and that kind of stuff. No big deal. You can tell from this point on, especially with that queen standing under the healer still. This base is definitely done for. Boom, boom, boom. A few more trash. Another wizard tower, another arch tower, and we are done. I even like that little wall breaker on the end just to help the Valkyries and King bust through that, uh, bust through the little remaining piece of wall, finish off those trash buildings. But clearly, it's cleanup time. Three stars in the bag for QC. Nice to see you on a recap, girl. All right. Big Papa. 11 versus 11 going down here. <clears throat> so, all very similar attacks, guys, please. <laughs> I just show it and give me, obviously, the predominant attack right now is, hey, let's just bring as many Valkyries as possible, figure out how to funnel them to the Inferno Towers and or Eagle Cannon, and how do we get them through the rest of the base without getting too stalled up, and you're going to get a tree star. So, uh, Queen Charge is going down here. Just going to work through all of this stuff on this outer compartment. We're going to times two this a touch. This takes a little bit. Same idea, though. you got to pull out that CC troops to that Queen. Uh, Valkyrie's in nice and early. Grand Warden in there, right? Does know that there's all those archers and barbs in the in the clan castle, so he's not too worried about the Valkyries going in there. They're just going to basically one-shot all that stuff. Grand Warden's in there, hits the ability, keeps them protected through that first Inferno. They just got to work through that Town Hall and get to that backside Inferno Tower. Queen's stuck on a wall down here, so that was a little bit unfortunate. But Warden's in there helping out. Wizards are in there helping out. Right, a healer's still in there, keeping those, of course, they're locked onto the wizards down there, not the Valkyries up ahead. That's kind of the trick, too, when you're using that the healers for the Valkyries in these Town Hall 10 and 11 raids. The trick is, how do you get them to lock onto the Valkyries? Not your golem, not your queen, and not your wizards like this, but uh, sometimes it happens, right? But nice that those two healers end up end up on this king over here, keeping them alive, doing tanking while he beats to the wall. Grand Warren's doing a little bit of work behind him. Obviously, these wizards coming up from the outside. Queen is down on the other side doing her thing. No big danger, right? She's got three healers still on her. She's going to finish off all of this stuff over down here. Just got to work through the rest of the base. Only a matter of time from this point. Finally, that Grand Warden goes down. He's taking shots from that Arch Tower forever. Down goes the Arch Tower. There's two cannons remaining. <laughs> Cannon one goes down. And any second... Cannon 2 is going to go down. See you later, base. Tree in the bag for Big Papa. Nice job, man. Boom. All right. And good old Kane going in on number one. So um, King is not maxed here. Grand Warren's not quite maxed. But I believe everything else is, including the walls. So very near max 11 here. Queen Charge is going to go in. Really, again, the goal here, right? Get that Eagle Cannon taken care of. If you can get the Eagle Cannon taken care of, you're standing in really good position because now that Town Hall 11 is pretty much a Town Hall 10 with a few upgraded defenses. So the Queen's going to get big value, take care of this stuff on the outside, eventually step up and get this Eagle Cannon, I believe right now. Oh, got to take care of that Barracks first. And then going to step over take the Eagle Cannon after the Archer or the Air Defense. There we go. That moves up. But kind of bad timing on that because defensive queen locks on. Has to hit the ability there. Uh, but no big deal, right? Ability for a defensive queen is uh, not a bad trade whatsoever. So uh, Eagles down. Valks are in. Giants are in now too, doing a little bit of tanking. 
Getting those guys up and ahead has two jumps and two rages. Jump spell number one goes down. Let everything into this first Inferno Tower there. That level four Inferno is looking scary. <clears throat> but no big deal. A lot of the a lot of the beans are locked onto the giants, which is absolutely what you want in this uh, in this case. Poison spell goes down. Take care of those CC troops. And with those Valkyries in there under a raid spell, they are just gonna melt instantly. Valkyries are now in on that second Inferno Tower. It drops very quickly rate spell goes down and going to continue to get great value another jump spell down there letting everything back into the ring side of this base even as a few balloons he dropped kind of with this haste spell in the back end to work through these defenses on the outside thought that was really cool as well get that cannon and another defense for two for two basically oh just missed the cannon no big deal right still has that ability to go on as king still has one two three four five probably eight or nine valkyries still working through the base a few giants healers healing everything up his queen did die in this raid, but doesn't really matter. Has so much going still. Grand Warren's in there behind. Has a wizard kind of helping out now on the outside doing cleanup. <clears throat> Valks go in. Ability uh, is hit on the king. Just going to push everything through, getting that cannon down. And really from this point on, there's a wizard tower that is about to die and another two cannons and two wizard towers to go in this base. Only a matter of time. So many Valkyries still alive in this raid. Drops a cleanup whiz on the outside. Tree stars in the bag for Kane on their number one. Nice job, buddy. Very sexy raid. All right. So, good job, guys. Really, really nice war. Like seeing a lot of those triples up there. Um, you know, it's uh, that's the practice we need, and that's the kind of stuff we like seeing because when we go into these wars, like we had, and fail, um, we suck this war, actually. Uh, I'll just straight out say it um no one's fault not blaming anybody we all did right but if you actually count let's count our town hall nines here let's turn an mk uh we had more 90 plus percent attacks i've ever seen 2.0 have ever so part of it definitely uh, you know storm factory is an awesome clan a lot of respect for those guys over there uh they don't they know what they're doing with base building they definitely know what they're doing with attacking some of their attacks were just unbelievable um i put a lot of tweaks and a lot of time into my base i got first hit three star by just an unbelievable attack so definitely guys you know obviously check storm factory out they are one of the top fair play clans arguably one of the best fair play clan out there so um really really nice job uh by storm factory and and yeah keep it up over there guys you are beasts um actually that's probably a better screen to check what i was going to check uh let's check all of our 90 plus percent attacks with our town hall mine so we had one two three almost four five six good old wiser with two 98 percent attacks i pretty much wanted to go slip my wrists after that um so anyways what was that <laughs> i gotta recount i lose train of thought too easily here guys so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen ninety plus percent attacks most of them being about 95 plus percent um so it just was a tough war for us right we were not not in our game not getting the follow through not getting any uh anything go our way it seemed left way too many uh town hall nines on the board in fact we didn't even clear them up so uh sucks for us awesome for storm factory uh really good performance over there guys and uh you know again learning lessons for us right because uh we uh we struggle more than we uh than we usually do that's for sure um had to use a ton of bullies and then still didn't even clear the nine so that sucks uh but we shall prevail in future wars because uh definitely recognize some things that we're going to work on and actually uh just overall in the 2.0 family we've uh we put a lot of stuff together uh, for leadership just kind of getting everyone back in line and uh yeah hopefully a lot of positive things to come so Anyhow, just want to rip through a few of these Town Hall 9 attacks. Start right down at the bottom here. 28. Good old Glenny Boy had a six-pack. Glenny Boy knows how to finish. What's that? No Valkyries. Yeah. Love seeing attacks these days when you don't use Valkyries because <laughs> Valkyries are just so powerful that if you can attack a base without them, it uh, it says a lot about, uh, about the attack and about the breakdown and about the base. So uh, you can see uh, King is in. Uh doing a little bit uh or sorry the golem is in doing a little bit of tanking on that defensive king and the queen poison spell goes down slowing everything down his king goes in with that his queen gonna take care of those defensive heroes funnel huge funnel is now created 
<clears throat> just going to walk into the base. Jump spell is down, kind of unlocking everything. To just work that king right down into this stuff. Got to pull out that CC. Poison spell goes down. Take care of that CC. Fortunately, the queen uh, takes a second to lock on. So the king does take a little bit of damage from that drag, but no big... <gasps> oh, excuse me. No big deal. Uh, hogs are now in from the 3 o'clock spot. Those notices these very, very tiny compartments. Um, the bomb locations, spring trap locations are somewhat limited. So you can judge a lot based on the very small compartments. So it uh, gets a little bit of giant tank going on down there, right? Just kind of feeding hogs in, two-fingered at a time. Um, not really surgical, uh, sort of like a semi-surgical because he's dropping. He has all his hogs down, but it's like a four-finger kind of drop on four different locations. They're all meeting up in the middle. Three heal spells taking care of that stuff. Look at the bazillion skellies following. Uh, but it doesn't matter because the hogs are standing under heel basically the entire time. Bomb goes off, doesn't do a thing. <clears throat> it's got to take care of that mortar, turn around on those skeletons and its cleanup. It's got a bunch of wizards around the base doing cleanup. One, two, three, four, five wizards still doing cleanup. Hogs now ripping through those trash buildings. Definitely going to be a tree star for Glenny Boy. Nice job, buddy. Uh, 23. All right. What did Nammers do here? Nam had a six back too. If you guys that came through, you know Nammers, Decatic again with another six pack, just a monster. Man, I wish I could have got a six pack. 298%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> just drove me, drives me nuts sometimes with the uh, where the how the AI works, but is what it is. So Nammers goes ahead and drops his queen. Gonna take care of these defenses. Continue the walk up towards his army camp. Yank out that CC and basically take care of this whole top uh, nine o'clock to twelve o'clock section. A little times tour. When that air defense goes down, I'm going to send in a lure hog. There it goes. Fortunately, it goes to the mortar. <laughs> Does not get the lure. I thought that was kind of... I chuckled a little bit when I first saw that because it sucks. So down goes the mortar, and here comes the hog. Oh, didn't even need the hog. My bad. I thought he sent another hog. Queen gets in range anyways. Poison spell goes down. So the uh, wizards and golem are now down on the 3 o'clock spot. Opens up the wall. Sends in Valkyries right in behind. Well, I guess it's a CC. I really like that, guys, when you bring three Valks and three wall breakers. Because so the three breakers, as long as you know there's not a bomb there, the three breakers are going to go break the wall and open it right up for the Valks coming in behind. So uh, has all the Valkyries in now over the jump spell. They're going to start working their way in the base. Very, very, very delayed king. I thought that was kind of good because um, the king's going to stand back and kind of take care of that defense offensive king <coughs> which is locked onto the golem valkyries working through the base they've already taken care of the queen a lot of what i'm seeing now here guys is you work the valks from one side of the base to the queen chamber as soon as that defensive queen goes down you send in your hogs at the queen chamber side and they just filter through the rest of the base no big deal because think about that right the fragility of your hogs um right loses a bunch of this bomb here which kind of sucks uh However, they basically shredded that whole queen chamber like nothing. Because you know in a queen chamber, someone's probably not going to put their double giant bomb in their queen chamber. Um, so it, the way that DGB was set up was kind, kind of worked out perfectly for uh, Hathman here. Because um, all the hogs were through the queen chamber and then all of them went to the DGB right there. Uh, however, it was enough of the base because the queen charged took care of the rest of that part of the base and the Valks worked in through this part. So once the queen chamber was dead, this expo is literally the last thing to stand. Eventually, the wizard and queen are going to step up, finish it off. Tree stars in the bag for Namor. Nice six pack, buddy. Awesome. All right, slide up here a little bit. 11. Sean had a six pack as well. Nice job, buddy. Nice to see Sean back on track. No, he was talking before. Uh, this was having a little bit of struggles. We all go through slumps. I mean, I'm in a slump right now, especially in the range wars, man. Like getting these 98 percents, like they're going out of style. Not not just this war, but um, I think the last good war I had was a random matchup versus 1.0 when I was in Invicta at a six pack. But since then, it's been tough. War Wales, I struggled. This war, I struggled. So is what it is. You go through slumps, right? And you do what you got to do to plan and, and get back on track. And uh, I think I'm there uh, doing a lot of work with Caddick and Grady and, and those guys. And uh, they're helping me plan. And, you know, those 98% could quite easily turn into uh, turn into three stars. So that's the goal here. Six balloons come out for Sean, but poison goes down. Going to take care of those like absolutely nothing. What we saw about that because six loons could be super deadly to valks right but you got to figure out having a deep cc like that i don't think is the answer because you just have too much time to react with the poison you gotta have it if you're gonna do that i think you need to have your cc 
kind of close to where you think the entry point's going to be so that they come out so quickly on top of the uh on top of the valks that they still get shots off but see the same idea here all the hogs in on the queen chamber right the rest of the base other than basically this 11 to 2 kind of 10 to 2 section is taken care of now so hogs are going to move in heel spell goes down doesn't have a lot of threat other than that bomb there but they're standing in their heels so absolutely perfect does lose a few to spring chats but just got to rip through the wizard tower and cannon jump on that expo right king's in there helping out working on those skellies for the hogs so absolutely perfect hogs go over to the expo down it goes and then down that arch tower goes this base is clearly done for beautiful it's a sexy tree star in the bag for sean nice job man all right one more their top town hall nine getting take care of by life life ops for only two valks i believe he's got a cc full of valks here i loved the choice for five balloons and only 10 hogs uh and four healers here so uh going ahead getting those free buildings with the minions gonna go ahead and immediately send in these wall breakers uh using the giant as a tank and is gonna just basically work through i think he works the queen down and around here um no she does go into this compartment that's right so she steps up into this compartment she's basically going to take care of the whole nine o'clock step up into the core and take care of these buildings that she can reach and start working on the wall and then beat through the wall so what that's going to do as i believe just diffuses this whole basically this whole side if you drew an arc kind of around here she diffuses basically that whole left side which is absolutely perfect because the rest of his entry is pretty much i believe um gonna take care of the queen uh take care of the cc that's actually kind of interesting this was the this was the very last raid i watched too you think this would be fresh in my mind uh dgb is taken care of right uh dgb in that outer compartment is always always a interesting choice because you know that uh, a queen charger a queen walk is going to take care of that no problem uh, so golem goes in drops a valkin behind the funnel is already created via those minions at the beginning so income same thing right valks in the cc with wall breakers they open up the wall for those valks they go in the other few valks he brought uh go in king is in behind everything pekka comes out of the cc so no big deal when you see a pekka come out and it's not going after your queen or king you know the valks are going to lock on and just rape it absolutely which is exactly what happens there so jump spell is down few hogs even in behind to help push the golem through which i thought was good start taking care of some of those defenses while the valks and golem are in there doing tanking <clears throat> hogs in now on that expo still has seven hogs to go and i believe that seven hogs come in from the bottom section and he saved those five balloons for this location over here beautiful beautiful read because knows that the hogs are going to make it to this air defense and basically uses these five balloons to take care of all these defenses on the outside so just really really good good old go Valoho, love it hog trigger a bomb but it doesn't matter cannon is the last defense remaining clean up time and tree stars in the bag for life nice job man very very sexy raid i love love the troop comp loved it all right so tough four storm factory good job guys um you know really held true to your reputation because you guys are beasts over there um you know 2.0 had a bit of a learning lesson in this one um we definitely know we can perform better and plan to next time so uh i've addressed some things and are gonna work on them and just go from there but uh until next time guys that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help it bag that next tree star Till then